I'm going to do a quick review of today's day trade in Apple. I was watching Apple and Rite Aid both this morning, and I came into the morning looking for a short. And typically, when the morning starts out, I don't like to trade the first few candles. Uh, as you can see, if you got short Apple early, you would have done you know pretty well. Uh, you had a lot of opportunities to get out and take profits. But uh, I didn't really have an entry I wanted. I wanted it to come back within this one ATR band, and I wanted to see something from there as far as a move down. Now, I considered this candle, but it technically didn't meet my requirement of being in this AT1 ATR band, so I decided to wait. I got this candle. Uh, again, it came up to here, but it closed here, so I decided to still wait again. Uh, this candle <clears throat> came too far down for me. I didn't want to take it. Got into this candle, and again, I didn't quite get where I wanted, so I was waiting for the close of this candle. But unfortunately, it finished below uh, this ATR band, so I didn't take a trade here. Then we got this candle. I got it up. I was still looking for a trade. Right here, you know, I was getting a little frustrated because I had not gotten into anything. So I went ahead and put a short just below this candle because I like this, you know, little uh, pat, this little candle here. I thought it would be a good place to go short. Uh, actually, I got lucky because I didn't get a fill. And my stop would have been right through here if I'd gotten a fill, but I did not get filled. So then I watched, you know, Apple come back up in here and I'm still looking, you know, where could I get a short in? But the candle still looked pretty strong. If I got a sideways candle here, I probably would have tried to short again here if I didn't get that. You know, I got to move back up to this two ATR band. Uh, you know, I'm seeing a lot of this momentum come out and we start to swing the other way. And I also noticed that the market was starting to change a little bit as far as overall direction. So finally, I decided that perhaps we're looking at a long. Uh, you know, I had this candle here. I probably should have got in right here as it broke over, but... I was still a little nervous because I, I was expecting, again, down moves. I let this candle play out. I let this one come down. And I decided, you know, I had consolidation here. I had an inside uh, candle here. So I said, hey, if it breaks here, I'm going to go long. I'm going to put my stop down here, which is a little further away than I would have liked. I'm going to set my first target at this 2 ATR band. So I was able to buy 200 shares of, of Apple at 288.14. Uh, you know, pretty much on that same candle, I believe, it hit this stop for me. I sold 100 shares, uh, made $58, immediately moved my stop to break even. I followed it up through here. I moved my stop into this area, was watching this price action. I was real happy with my stop here. You know, it moved up. I bumped my stop up just a little bit more just below this candle. Uh, and then we got a, a move back down, and I got stopped out at 289.31 for another $117. Now, as you can see, if I had stayed in, I would still be making money right now. You know, I might have got stopped out here, you know, as I moved my stops up, it would have been real close. But had I not, there was a lot of money I left on the table here. You know, I ended up with $175 for the day. I'm very happy with that, especially considering, you know, I had to wait for this consolidation before I decided to take a long. So I'm not upset that I missed this move. You know, I traded my, my trading plan. I traded my strategy. Uh, I made money, didn't lose money, so overall I'm happy with this. Uh, I, there's probably quite a few of you out there that may have kept your stop a little bit lower, and you're still in this trade going up if you took an Apple trade going up today. Uh, I'm not one of you. Like I said, I, I traded my plan, I took my profit, and I moved on. If you have any questions, please put them below. Uh, also, if you have any uh, comments or if you li like this video, please like it. Uh, please subscribe to the channel also. Like I said, anything I can do for you, let me know. Thanks.